Infertility is a spectrum. So for some people, infertility is because it took them longer than they expected and that was their journey. And for some people, it's because they had to endure several miscarriages. And for some people, because they had to go through several IVF treatments. And for some people, because they had to use egg donation. And for some people, because they needed to use donor sperm because they're a single woman or same-sex couple. Everybody touches infertility, like your neighbors and your friends. So myth number one is you're the only one. Some people believe that if you're on the pill and therefore you're not ovulating, you are almost saving your eggs for the future because you're not using them, you're not ovulating. But that doesn't happen. Biological aging still moves on whether you're on the pill or not. So it doesn't delay your menopause, doesn't delay your fertility or something like that. On one side, the fact that somebody was able to get pregnant is actually a good sign. It proves many minor things were successful and it's actually a good sign that hopefully in the future when you're ready, it, it will work. The reverse side of it, every time you do a surgery, there's always risk to the surgery. One of the risks when you do a DNC is to maybe harm the inside of the uterus called the endometrium and that, if it does occur, could affect your future fertility. So after you ovulate, we believe there's this two week period, you're either gonna get pregnant or you're gonna get your period. That's when we tell couples, this is when you should be focusing your energy. You don't have to have sex every day. The sperm lives in the uterus and fallopian tubes for one to two days anyways. You know, we usually recommend, if you know your fertile window, to have intercourse once or every two days and you'll, you'll hit it.